Get over there. Shoulder, 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 shoulder. Get against the right hand side of the P-Ray. Right up, stop. 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 Right don't do anything till I say move. Watch. Rings, with the exception of wedding band or engagement ring, you will take that out and put it inside your pocket. You got one minute, move. When you finish making your phone call, and there's double doors right here, first person that comes out, they phone you. Go to the first person in line. Give them your phone, you will walk right back in here. And you will stay with your cell phone at all times. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You will not go outside these double doors. You will stay in these double, inside these double doors. That's it. All right, go. Your two minutes start when you get in contact with someone. Hello? Yeah. Hello? 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 I uh, got up here safe. Yep, it's gonna be interesting, but it's gonna be right. fun. So, and approximately three weeks, I'll call you again. And gosh damn, what was the third thing? Talk about the package. About two, three weeks. You'll be getting a box with all my stuff in it. Yeah, for three weeks. I have to go. It has to be short. That's about all I got time to say. Stand up. Grab everything you came with. Bag, jacket, backpack, shirt. If you have a box, you want to put it on the flag, on the toe line, just like when you first got on here. That sheet of paper you got when you first got here. The one that says duty bag. You step on the machine. You either circle ST, MC, CU. Medium cushion, go. Medium stability, go. Medium stability, go. All right, all your civilian stuff you want to put behind you on the blue, on the blue tab. I want the small size up front, largest in the back. Example, seven, eight, or whatever the biggest one is. Figure it out. Let's go. Four through ten is here. Twelve through twenty. Love medium. Eleven and a half medium. You're gonna get two unopened packages of underwear, two single pair of underwear. What you done with that? You're gonna get one roll of yellow shirts. There's two shirts rolled up. You're gonna get one sweat top, one sweat pants. So you're gonna get a pair of shorts, a roll of shorts. What you done with that? Over here it says shower shoes. Just grab the side that fits your feet. What you done with that? Over here, there's gloves. Try the gloves on, make sure they fit. If they don't fit, put them back in the plastic. Large, large. Put them in your large knit bag. Fall back behind the box you're standing behind right now. Yes, he! All right, the first thing we're going to do is going to eat chow. we got to feed you three meals a day. That's what the government says. P-Days is the process of days based on when you, when you get the recruits and you, you can set the tone right then. And you train, say, fr from the beginning up until the end. As long as you set that uh, strong foundation, it's like building a house. Uh, and the recruits are always going to have that strong foundation to follow. But if you, you, you got to go hard from the, from the beginning. Okay. Leave your seat bags there. Let's go. Leave your covers there, too. No, nope, follow along the line. Let's go. Yeah. Everything is done orderly fashion. Leave your covers there. For each push, you always want to learn something new. You always learn something new because you have 88 recruits. You have new recruits every time. So the experiences for each push is different, so you'll always learn something new. It's a, the melting pot that comes from the United States. And you mix them all together, and you learn something new every time. You're in that mindset that you're going to help somebody. You know, you're excited about helping somebody, and you want to change somebody's life. And you know you're going to do that. You might change it quite a few lives in here, and it's going to be awesome. And so you get kind of get excited, and you kind of can't wait to start working. Hey, let's go. We've got a lot of stuff to do. You come back at the kids. Hurry up. Let's the military go. Barry, put your hands to the side. Look, you ain't in New Orleans no more. You're in the United States Navy. We don't have any badasses here. All right? Ain't nobody trying to get over you. Ain't nobody trying to hurt you. We are here trying to help you. Once you understand that, it's going to be an easy day. You understand? Yes, Chief. What you did back home, what you did, I don't care. I don't care what you had to do, who you had to hang with, that's what you had to do. Here in the Navy, you're going to be part of a team. And this team's going to help you. We're not going to judge you, we're going to help you. You understand? Yes, Chief. All right. The mission here at Recruit Training Command is to take civilians and in eight and a half or nine weeks, turn them into basically trained sailors. We're making yes, sailors that understand the rules, that can go on to their follow-on A schools, and, uh, and learn the, the more advanced 
things that they need to uh, for success in their ships or in their aviation squadrons. Figure it out. Figure it out. Use two hands. That's. The crew division commanders, they do a, they do a phenomenal job of helping uh, instill the concept of teamwork because when the when the recruits come in here, probably. Uh, this is the first time where they've been judged by the performance of their team and not by their own personal performance. Uh, a lot of them don't necessarily understand that concept, and uh, we have to we have to drive that home. That's what we do. We help each other out. You understand that? Once you figure something out, you know nobody else knows how to do it. You help him. Yes, chief. It's easy. You understand? Yes, chief. All right. Who's never saved before? Raise your hand. I'm gonna tell you what parts we're gonna save. You're gonna save. It's like this. The part of your ear here. I didn't say way up here. No. Like right here. We're going to be in there to instruct you. Don't lean on my bulk, King. Take your time and get it right. All the way down. There you go. Like the middle of your ear. I didn't say go way up there. If you want to look at, uh, look at my shave, right around the middle of my ear. All the way down. Let's go. All right, go. All right. Look up. All right, go. Cut that out. You should have shaved that before you came in the Navy. Another couple of things that we work on very hard is, is uh, attention to detail and then uh, I'll call it a little bit of critical thinking so that they understand the decision making implications that come very close to, uh, to, to graduation here. You're going to write that you assume the watch more does before. Look, it's in red. It means you're going to leave this here. He's going to replace you and cover the door. And the other piece is that, uh, that we need to follow the rules in the Navy and the, and the Navy has certain expectations for the rules that they follow. They, they can't pick some rules their to follow and some rules not to follow. They need to follow all the rules. And their last name, okay? Yes. After you do that, you are going to go to the far right on the next line. You're going to put your first initial, hey. your middle initial, your last name, all in cursive. Yes, yes, video. Underneath that, you're going to write... Train recruits is great. Uh, there's no textbook to show you exactly how to do it. You just got to find the right tool to fit, fit the situation. Sleep.